Oftentimes within an assembly, you'll want to work on specific areas of that assembly or work on specific components. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult to navigate through and actually find those sub-assemblies or parts. This isn't too large of an assembly, so it's not that difficult. But for those cases, there's the isolate command. This will allow you to right click in and select out a single component or multiple. If I wanted to, for example, choose these two parts, I can isolate just those two and work on those. You can also save it out as a display state, so you can come in and work on these sections whenever you want. And this is another good reason to have a lot of sub-assemblies in your top-level assembly, rather than just having all components and having a very flat layout. Because if I know I just want to work on a few of these sub-assemblies, or if I organize it in that manner, I only have to click on two or three of these items, hit isolate, and then you can go in and work on these sub-assemblies. If I do save this out, I'll call this power supply and fan. And once I exit that isolate, if I come into the configurations tab, and choose that power supply and fan display state, it'll go right into that. So that's a quick way to not have to come in and hide out components every time you want to work on a certain section. You can simply come into the isolate command, create your display state, activate it, and work on those components. The one thing you will want to note is that the components are hidden and not suppressed so they'll still be loaded into memory. If you want to load in a simplified configuration you'll have to create that configuration separately and suppress out any configurations that you don't want loaded.